Hello Internet! Welcome to today's episode on my video channel. Since I am working on a lot of projects at the moment, I haven't released a new video for quite some time. But this should change in the coming weeks. This video is made for CNC beginners and the focus is on consumer CNC machines. Since the entry into CNC machining is quite difficult, I like to lift the curtain a little bit and explain different aspects of CNC machining. I will present my personal CNC setup, modeling and machining approach. This includes the setup, the use of different components, my modeling and machining process and a selection of software and hardware tools. My machine is a Genmitsu 4030 Portal CNC machine with an Arduino garble based CNC controller. It is a powerful machine for a consumer CNC and can also be upgraded in different ways to provide more functionality. Beside of this, I like to introduce my virtual friend Steve here. Hi folks. I always get the boring part. He will support me during the video with some definitions. Now let's start. A consumer CNC, computer numerical control, machine is a type of manufacturing equipment that is designed for use by hobbyists and small businesses. Consumer CNC machines come in a range of sizes and types, including milling machines, lathes and 3D printers. We can use CNC router milling machines for subtractive manufacturing because we cut away material to create the desired shape. It is the opposite of additive manufacturing, like 3D printing, where we add material layer by layer from CNC 3D printers. Now let's take a look at my CNC setup. The base is the CNC machine, here the Chenmitsu 4030. In my case, I have an Arduino microcomputer that works as a CNC controller in combination with electronic CNC control components. A garble-based CNC controller reads G-code commands from a file or input stream and converts them into motion commands for the machine. The CNC controller sends these commands to the machine's stepper motors through the stepper motor drivers, which control the movement of the machine's axes. The garble controller also monitors the machine's position and status, and it can provide feedback to the user through a control panel or display. In general, the garble CNC controller is responsible for interpreting G-code commands and converting them into motion commands. The controller is monitoring the machine's position and status and providing feedback to the user. The microcomputer controls the movement of the router, sending electronic signals to the installed stabber motors. In addition, there are sensors such as so-called end-stop switches or two-length sensors, which in turn send signals to the microcomputer. Here we see a typical Arduino-based CNC setup. A CNC can be built using a CNC controller interface and stepper motor drivers. Building a CNC can of course be done on your own. See for example the MPCNC kit. Now let's have a look at the other core parts of an Arduino-based CNC router. We all already covered the Arduino board, this is the brain of the machine and it runs the software that controls the machine movements. In addition there are the stepper motor drivers, these are used to control the stepper motors that move the machine's axis. There are many options available, but uh, for example the A4988 is a common choice. Stepper motors are another important part. These motors move the machine's axis and they typically have a high number of steps per revolution. For example, 200 steps per revolution. Then we have the power supply. You will need a power supply to provide power to the Arduino board, the stepper motor drivers and the stepper motors. As well as the router spindle. The required voltage and current will depend on the specific components you are using. My CNC runs on 24V. 
And of course there are mechanical components. These include things like the frame, rails, bearings, screws and lead screws that make up the physical structure of the machine. End stops. These are switches that are triggered when the machine reaches the end of its travel on a particular axis. They are used to tell the machine when to stop moving. The control panel. This is optional, but it can be useful to have a control panel with buttons and a display to control the machine. Genmitsu offers an offline controller that can be used to control the machine and run G-code from an SD card. You can also use G-code sender software programs to upload G-code programs to your CNC and to control your CNC. For example, Universal G-Code Sender and the software Candle. Other CNC vendors support the use of the widely used Mach 3 software. However, there are many other CNC vendor specific software packages, such as Easel or Carveco, and others that are a mix of computer aided design software CAD, and computer aided manufacturing software CAM. Another main component is the spindle motor. This is the motor that spins the cutting tool. It is typically a high speed motor that is capable of reaching several thousands revolutions per minute RPM. Uh, the Chemitsu CNC comes with the spindle motor that has 300 Watt and 12,000 RPM. There is also an additional bracket to mount an, another router. Um, you can use routers with the 69mm diameter router housing, like a Dewalt router or Makita router. Another important factor is the selection of the right cutting tool. There is a wide range of tools for different applications, so that several tools are used for the production of one workpiece, and the tools have to be changed. Last but not least, you have to decide how fast your machine should go. You have to define the feed rate, depending on the material of the workpiece and the tool characteristics, such as the number of cutting edges, the tool material, and also the power and speed of the CNC machine, the right feed rate must be selected. G-Code is a standardized programming language that is used to control CNC machines. It consists of a series of commands that tell the machine where to move, what speed to use, and what operations to perform. In case of my setup, the CNC controller understands G-Code instructions that follow the GRBL or pronounced Garble standard. Let me explain Garble. Garble is an open source firmware that runs on Arduino based CNC computer numerical control machines. It is designed to control small CNC router machines and it supports basic motion commands as well as G code parsing and execution. The main task of a Garble controller is to interpret G code commands and translate them into motion commands for the machine. In GRBL, G-codes are typically identified by their first letter, which is most of the time G. For example, GO, G1, G2, etc. However, there are some codes that do not start with the letter G that are also part of the GRBL stan standard. GRBL is a human readable instruction language and you can only use GRBL code to program the CNC machine. To send the GRBL from a computer to a CNC controller, you can use a G-Code Sender software, like Universal G-Code Sender or Candle. The G-Code can be transferred to the CNC controller by using a USB cable or using an SD card to transfer the data. For more complex workpieces, you would like to use a graphical 2D or 3D design software like FreeCAD, SingerCAD or Fusion 360. The 
computer in my setup is used for designing the work pieces. For example, as a CAD model, a computer aided design model. This is a 2D or 3D description of your workpiece. Typically, I use Blender, FreeCut or Fusion 360 to design a 2D or 3D model. To translate the 2D or 3D model into machine instructions, you need the CAM computer aided manufacturing software. Here is a definition for CAM computer aided manufacturing. CAM uses computer technology to control the manufacturing of products. Using CAM methods and technology, we can integrate software and machines that allows for the creation of highly precise, complex parts and products. We need a specialized CAM software to take the 2D or 3D model and create CNC toolpath that, for example, will be used to control the movement of the cutting tool on a CNC machine. Using a CAM software, we can create a toolpath or a set of machine instructions that a CNC machine uses to move its cutting tool in a specific pattern over a workpiece in order to create a desired shape or feature. In addition, the parameters of the toolpath must be defined as the cutting depth, speed and feed rate. And many more additional parameters need to be given to generate a valid toolpath. Here are some common used CNC toolpaths and their representation in Fusion 360. Contouring. This toolpath can be used to follow a specific contour or shape on a workpiece. Pocketing. This toolpath is used to remove material from the inside of a shape or pocket. Drilling. This toolpath is used to create holes in a workpiece. And then we have facing. This toolpath is used to remove material from the surface of a workpiece. Another toolpath is profiling. This toolpath can be used to create a specific shape or profile on a workpiece. And for example, tapping, this toolpath is used to create internal threads in a hole. To sum it all up, I designed a small smiley key pendant in Fusion 360. The key pendant consists of two pockets, a hole and the outline of course. After I finished the model in Fusion 360 design mode, I move on to the manufacturing part. Here I can make the relevant settings for my CNC and create the toolpath. I set the dimensions for my raw material, decide which tools to use and which machining operations to run. Then I use the Fusion 360 CAM module to create the toolpath. If necessary, I can simulate all or some of the toolpaths to see how the CNC machine will work. In the end, I need to have the GRBL G code generated for my CNC machine. Then I can send the code to my CNC machine with the CNC sender software or run the code uh, from an SD card and the Genmitsu offline controller, for example. I think we covered a lot and with this short demonstration I would like to end this video at this point. In the next part of my CNC machining series, I will have a closer look onto the garbled G-code processing, the coordinate systems and the use of different G-codes during the CNC machining. In addition, there are more videos in the pipeline with details to Fusion 360, to FreeCAD, Blender, Garble and more. I would appreciate any question or comments and if this content was helpful, a like or a subscription would be nice. All the best, see you soon on this channel, thanks for watching.